Welcome to my channel's Striker 24x7. If you like my YouTube videos then subscribe, click the bell icon, like, comment, and share. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to enable sticky agent feature in VC Dial. What is sticky agent? Sticky agent is a feature in Dialer that allows a caller to be routed to the same agent to whom he have spoken earlier. Well, by default, the sticky agent feature is not available in VC Dial. We will be enabling the same with custom AGI and custom dial plan. Prerequisites to enable the sticky agent feature in VC Dial. VC Dial admin portal access with admin user to create and modify in-groups, campaigns, users, DID. VC Dial server console access via SSH with root or sudo users to create a AGI file and asterisk dial plan. Here are the steps we are going to follow to enable sticky agent feature. Step 1, in-group settings. Step 2, campaign settings. Step 3, user settings. Step 4, DID settings. Step 5, AGI script and custom dial plan. Step 1, in-group settings. Make sure the default the VC dial in-group called as agent direct is available in your VC dial system. Also, we will be creating one more in-group in the name as inbound, all in caps, which is default in-group for all incoming calls. Now in the agent direct in-group, enable these settings if you want to fail over to the inbound in-group in case of agent not available or busy. Let's jump to my VC dial system and finish the step one. Log into your VC dial admin portal with admin user ID. Now navigate to inbound menu and click the show in-groups. Make sure the default in-group agent direct is available. Next go back to in-group section and create a new in-group and name inbound, all caps, as shown here. We will be using this in-group as failover to agent direct if no records found for sticky agent or if agents are busy or unavailable. Note if you have created in-group in another name, we need to update the in-group name in our AGI script, which I will show you at the end of this video. By default, I used the name inbound, all in caps. Now go back to the in-groups and modify the agent direct in-group. Change the drop call seconds according to your requirement. Next change the drop action to in-group. Next select our inbound in-group under drop transfer group option. Also you can enable the no agents no queuing option to fail over to inbound in-group in case sticky agent is busy or unavailable. Next for no agent no queue action select in-group. Next for no agent no queue delay, set value in seconds for customer to wait for agent availability. Next select our inbound in-group and in handle method choose closer. Next under list ID enter your list ID where you maintain or add new leads. Next select your campaign ID and enter your area code or country code. Now scroll down and press the submit button to update the modifications. Next move to our slides for step 2 settings. Step 2, campaign settings. Modify all your campaign where agents logged in to receive calls with below settings. Make sure the dial method is either ratio or inbound manual. Next enable the allow inbound and blended option. Next make sure the agent direct and inbound in-groups are selected under allowed in-groups section. Here is the other optional settings in campaign with respect to inbound calls. Enable it if you required. Let's jump to my VC dial system and finish the campaign settings. Log into your VC dial admin portal with admin credentials. Navigate to campaign section and modify your campaign in detail view mode. Now make sure the dial method is set to ratio or inbound manual or other dial method which support inbound once done update the settings.
Next enable the option Allow Inbound and Blended. Once done update the campaign settings by pressing Submit button. Now scroll to the end of the campaign settings and select the Agent Direct and Inbound Ingroups under Allowed Inbound Groups section and press Submit. Next is the optional settings with respect to inbound calls like inbound queue no dial. Next options like agent display queue count. Agent view calls in queue. View calls in queue launch either manual or auto end. Agent grab calls in queue. Once the necessary modification done update the changes by pressing submit. Let's move on our slides for next steps. Step 3, user settings. In VC dial for each users who take inbound calls, make sure that agent choose ingroup and agent choose blended is enabled. If not VC dial admin can predefine the default ingroups for each users with agent direct and inbound ingroups. Let's jump to my VC Dial system and configure the user settings. Log into your VC Dial admin portal with admin credentials. Navigate to user section and modify each users. Scroll down to agent interface options and make sure to enable the agent choose in-group and agent choose blended options. This will allow agent to choose the in-groups and blended option while logging in. If you want to avoid agent to choose in-groups, then admin can predefine the in-groups to each agents, so select both agent direct and inbound in-groups. Once done, update the changes by pressing submit button and do the same settings to other users in the VC dial system who will be handling inbound calls. Step 4, DID settings. Under DID settings, we to modify the DID route to extend. Then set the extension column with 999, 888, 777. This is the extension mentioned in custom dial plan. Then for extension context set it default. Let's jump to my VC dial system and finish the DID settings. Log into your VC Dial Admin Portal with admin credentials. Navigate to the DID section under Inbound Main Menu. Either modify your DID or create a new DID. Now set the DID route to extend. Next set the extension option with 999, 888, 777. Next in the extension context enter default. Once done, update the changes by pressing Submit button. Let's move to our step 5. Step 5, creating AGI script and custom dial plan. In this step, we are going to create a file named stickyagent.agi under the var slash lib slash asterisk slash agi bin folder. The script is available in my blog, from where are going to copy paste, in the description I have provided the link. We need to provide necessary permission to our stickyagent.agi file using chmod command. Note, the default ingroup name I used in the script is inbound, all in caps. If you have create ingroup with some other name, make sure to change it in the script. Here's the custom dial plan which we will be adding in extensions.conf file under default context. This dial plan is available in my blog. Let me explain few settings in my dial plan. In line number 2, I am sending the actual caller ID and number of hours as variable to a GI file to query the agent ID. The caller ID should be the exact number without the area code or country code or the way you store in database. If you want to discard the area core or country code then you need to manipulate the variables, in the description I have given the tutorial for variable manipulation.
Next variable is the maximum number of hours to check the database. This is used to connect customer to same agent to whom he spoke earlier not more than n number of days. This value should be mentioned in hours, for two days it's 48 hours. For one day it's 24 hours. This dial plan will query the database and assigns two channel variables. One, agent ID with the sticky agent name or number and, if no result it will be empty value. Two, in-group variable with either agent direct or it will assign inbound if above agent ID is empty. These variables are used in our next line of this custom dial plan. This is the third line of our dial plan, where it will route the call based on the variables received from previous dial plan. As per this dial plan, if user ID value returns a value, it will route the call to sticky agent that is on the agent direct in-group. But if user ID value is empty then the caller will be routed to default in-group that is inbound in-group and land to any free agent who is part that in-group. In this dial plan make sure to change the DID value that is 6000 6000 to your actual DID number. Next change the list ID value 999 to your list ID where you save leads and finally change the country code 91 to your country code. Let's jump to my VC dial system and finish the step 5. For creating a GI file and custom dial plan, we need the server console access via SSH. Now go to the asterisk AGI hyphen bin directory by typing cd slash var slash lib slash asterisk slash AGI bin. Now create a file named as stickyagent.agi using VI editor. Now copy paste the sticky agent script available in my blog and GitHub. In this video description I have provided the link to my blog. As said earlier I have hard-coded the default in-group name that is inbound, all in caps, change it if you have different in-group name. Now save this file by typing escape button and colon wq. Now using chmod command give the read and execute permission to this file. Next we need to create our custom dial plan, go to the asterisk source directory by type cd slash etc slash asterisk. Now open the extensions.conf file using VI editor. Now scroll down to the default context and copy paste the custom dial plan from my blog. Check out the description for the link. Make sure to change the hours value in the dial plan according to your requirement for example I have given 48 hours that is past 2 days. Also do other necessary changes as said earlier. Now save the file and then run configuration reload in asterisk CLI. Let's test out sticky agent configuration. For the demo purpose I have two callers with the caller ID 991234124 and 88123412234 and two agents with the user ID of 1001 and 1002. Let's jump to my VC dial system and test the sticky agent feature. First let me log in both the agents to a campaign with respective in-groups, that is agent direct and inbound in-groups with blended calling enabled. Now from the 1001 agent I am calling my first customer that is 991234124. Once the call completed, I am hanging up the call. 
Now from my mobile I am going to dial the DID number that is 6000 6000 and let's see whether it connects me to the same agent which have dialed earlier that is the 1001 agent. Yes. I got connected to the same agent to whom I have spoken earlier. At the status bar you can see the group name single agent direct Q fronter. Let me hang up this call and finish the disposition. Now let me dial the same number from the another agent that is 1002 and check whether the incoming call connect to this agent instead of 1001. Let me hang up this call and dial back to the DID number that 6000 6000, this time the call should connect to the 1002 agent, as this agent called me recently. Yes. My call got connected to the same agent to whom I have spoken recently that 1002 agent. Now go to the VC dial real-time monitoring screen, where you can notice the in-group name that is agent direct single agent direct Q, which means our sticky agent feature is working fine. Let me hang up this call and dial again the DID to make sure it lands to the same agent that is 1002. Yes. Again I got connected to the same agent that is 1002. Let me hang up this call and dial the DID from my another mobile number that is 8812341234 and check whether it lands to the inbound in-group to the first available agent. You notice the new call which calling first time the DID is connected to the agent 1002 under the inbound in-group. Let's hang up this call. Well our sticky agent feature works perfectly as accepted. Hope you learned how to enable the sticky agent feature in VC dial. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.